Sometimes it is nightmare to transfer thousands of emails from your old host to new host. I know there are a lot of videos on YouTube but they are so old which doesn't fit in today's world. Whether it can be you are transferring from cPanel to cPanel, plus to cPanel, plus to plus, cPanel to cPanel. No matter from which platform you are transferring, one method fits all. And if you are new here, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel because I make complicated things easier, compact and to the point and which are super easy to follow without wasting any of your time. Okay, so let's see how we are going to do this. Okay, so this is Mozilla Thunderbird, what we are going to do, this is an email client, we are going to install this on our local PC. We are connecting both the email IDs, the old one and the new one. And we are going to import all the emails from the old one and we will copy them all to the new ones using Mozilla Thunderbird. So let's do this. Click on free download. I will put the link of this website in the description box, so check the description box. And then you will have this exe file, save the file. And once it is downloaded, click on the exe file, then next, choose the standard installation, next, and then click on install. And once it is done, click finish. You can see the Mozilla Thunderbird is installed on a local PC. Now we are going to connect both the email IDs. So click Alt on your computer and you see this option file and then hover on new and click on existing mail account. You need to enter your name, then your email address from which you want to import the email. It can be same because the same email was in your old hosting and the same email is on new hosting. I will explain you like how you will differentiate between the both the emails when using Thunderbird. But for now, just follow the tutorial. So you need to enter your email from which you want to import the emails. Now we are not going to click on continue because in some cases you already moved your DNS and your website is live on your new hosting. So what we are going to do, we are going to click on configure manually and in the server field, you need to enter the IP of your old hosting. So that we make sure we are connecting to the old hosting, not to the new hosting email account. It is really easy to find the IP. You just log in in hosting panel. I'll show you. So I'm using fast comment. I'm transferring all my emails from fast comment to A2 hosting. So this is my fast C panel. On the right side, I can find the shared IP address. No matter which hosting you're using, you can always find a IP. Or if you can find a host name also, that will also work. I'll go back here. I'll paste this one. IP here and here. And then I click on retest and then done. Okay, you can see I'm connected with the, my email account contact at letsqtwebsite.com on my old hosting. If I click on inbox, you can see I receive all the emails in my old hosting. If you see, I have some folders also. So you have main folder and your subfolder. There are also some emails in old folder. Okay, so half work is done. And now we just need to connect the new one and then copy the emails from old to the new one. Sounds very smooth. You know what else is also smooth? Like this video and subscribe to my channel to help all the community go together and to help all the community to learn all this stuff in the most easy way. I bet you will get all the quality content and join this rapid growing community today. Okay, so now we are going to click again Alt and we'll see File, New and click Existing Email Account and then you need to enter your email address. You can see there's the same email address because I'm transferring all my emails from the same account from old hosting to new hosting. One thing I want to mention that you need to create this email account on your new hosting. If you don't know how to create an email account, I made a detailed video about it. You can go into the description and check out that video. Okay, once done, then the password you choose on your new hosting. When you create this email account, you have to add that password, password. And the same thing, we are not going to click on continue. Normally, I already moved my DNS, but just to make sure that we are connecting to the right place, I'm going to use the IP. So I'll go back to my A2 hosting account or whichever hosting is your new hosting, go to that account. So this was my old hosting and then I'm using A2 hosting, in OT hosting, they also have a shared IP. I'm going to copy this and then click configure manually and replace this IP and then retest and then done. You can see I'm connected with my email account on new hosting. If I click on inbox, you can see I have no emails. Everything is completely empty because I just created an email account on new hosting. I did not import it, that data. So now we are going to copy all the data from old one to new one. So how are we going to do this? Okay, so let's see in box. It has 28 emails and 19 are unread. In the new hosting, we have zero emails. So we're going to click on the old hosting inbox and then select any of the email and use control A. Or if you want, you can again press alt, then hover on edit and then select all. And by this way, you will select all the emails and then right click here and hover on copy to and you need to make sure you're copying this to the second one. The second one, hover on inbox and then click on inbox. Okay, you can see 28 messages were copied. If I click on inbox of new email, you can see all messages were copied. I forget to delete the folders because I'm working on the video and I forgot to delete these folders. So for example, I'm going to delete this folder. I'll show you how you can copy the folders also. So now you see there are no folders. 
on my new hosting on my old hosting I have main folder and a subfolder one so what you need to do is on new email account I'm gonna select inbox right click and then create new folder I will name this main folder and click on create folder you can see the folder is created then I'm gonna right click on main folder and click on new subfolder which will be subfolder one and then click on create folder if you see if I click here you see I have no emails in main folder and I don't have any emails in subfolder also so now I'll go back to my old email account same thing control A or you can go you can select all also and then copy to second email then inbox now you can see the folder I just created main folder and then click on main folder you can see if I go new hosting all the emails were copied same thing I'll repeat with subfolder select all right click copy to choose the second one inbox main folder and then subfolder okay all the emails were copied so this is so simple how you can copy email from one account to another account you can use it from cpanel to cpanel plus to plus plus to cmail no matter which one is it and this works with everything i tested it and if you want to know how you can make your website super fast in just five minutes check out this video on your screen thank you so much don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel see you in the next one